All right, so now we're ready to download our last package. So I'm going to use KeepNote. So I try USM TAC G KeepNote. Nothing found for KeepNote. I know the package exists. I've used it before. It's pretty common. I'd think it'd be somewhere. So I try USM TAC S KeepNote. It says nothing was found in Slackware, but it found a Slack build. So it gives us the option to build from source. However, looking at the version number, it's pretty out of date. And uh, I all, I'm moving from an Arch Linux install, so I already have KeepNote files that have been saved with a 0.7 extension or version number. So this 0.6 is probably not going to cut it for me. It's probably not going to be compatible with my packages. So I'm going to go ahead and hit no. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my web browser and I'm going to build this from source. And we can do that very easily. We go to, I'm going to go to archlinux.org slash packages. And I'm not limited to just using the Arch, Arch Linux packages repo. I can use other distributions if I wanted to. But the reason why I'm using Arch is because I know they're usually pretty up to date. They're pretty good at listing dependencies. And since it doesn't, since Arch is a pretty minimalist system by default, most of the dependencies are going to be pretty accurate and not, nothing's going to be overlooked. So in keywords, I'm going to type in keep note. And here we can see our package. And they have version 0.7.8-2, which is perfect. That's the, that's the version I want. So I can click on that. And it may be, some people may prefer just going to the keepnote.org website and downloading the latest version from there. I, I'm just going to go through Arch because I've had great experience with it. Usually it doesn't cause any problems. So the first thing to look for is the dependencies. It says it requires four. So I can check and see if these are installed by typing in USM TAC S and then the dependency I want to check. As you can see, high color icon theme installed. So we go on to the next one. Pi GTK installed. Our next dependency, XDG utils installed. This one's optional, but I want it anyway. And it says nothing found. Now this could just be that uh, it's a different package repo, so it could be called something else. So I'll just do USM TAC S GTK spell. And you can see it does have one for Python, and it was just called Python dash GTK spell instead of Python 2 dash GTK spell. So that one is not installed, so I am going to have to install it. So I can do that doing USM TAC G Python GTK spell. I install it just like any other package. It'll take a couple seconds. While it's doing that, I can also grab the source file. I click download from here and I click save file. Now it's asking me would I like to merge the package into one module. I'll hit yes. Enter to start downloading. And now if I type in ls or go to my USM directory first then type ls you can see I have all my modules. My original txz packages and my dependency here. Now, since I'm logged in as my guest user, Firefox is going to save all my downloads into cd slash home slash guest downloads. So I can cd to that directory, ls, and you can see my package. It ends with a dot tar dot xz extension. This is fine. I can simply use source to pkg. Keep note. I hit enter. It does its thing. 
That was actually pretty fast. It created the package in my slash TMP directory. So if I go to cd slash TMP ls, we can see my keep note file. So first, I'm going to do txd to xcm on our keep notes.txd package to convert it into an xcm module. Now, right now, it doesn't have the GTK, uh, GTK spell dependency, but it said it was optional, so I want to test just keep note by itself to make sure that's working first. So I can type in activate keep note with the XCM extension. We get the well done, module's been activated prompt. So now I sh can try uh, typing in keep note into the command line, see what happens. Now I get an error. And by the looks of it, this looks a lot like a Python error, import keep note. So usually this, this isn't a common issue. This is kind of unique to keep note, but what's happening is it's trying to import it. So if, with uh, Python too. So if I type in Python, I should be able to try import keep note and it should work, but instead I get an error. Whereas if I type in import random, it works no problem. So the question is, where is, the first question is where is Python keeping its modules? And the second is, where's my keep note module? So actually, if I check user lib 64, python2.7, we navigate to that directory, we type in ls, we could see a list of Python modules. So this is where Python's keeping its modules by default. And I can even prove that everything works here. I can try import and I can try uh, one of these module names from here. And no error. I type import keep note. I get the no module named keep note error. So the question is, where is my the second question was where is keep note module being stored so with that we can type in update db which this is going to do is going to update our database so we can locate files easier and we can do locate keep note and now you can see it's putting it in my slash user slash lib directory python 2.7 site packages keep note and so forth. So a lot of packages are going in my slash user lib directory, whereas I need them in my slash user lib64 package. So how do we make a module that's going to do this? You know, I can easily move these packages into this directory and that will work for one time. However, the next time the module reactivates, it's still going to keep loading it in this directory. And then each time I want to run keep note, I'm going to have to copy and paste these files to this directory all the time. That's not the desired effect I want. So I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to cd back to my slash tmp directory. And I'm going to actually move, I'm going to make a directory called build. And I'm going to move keep note with my .xem module in there into build. Now if I cd into my newly created build directory that I will spell correctly, I should be able to type in ls and I can now see my keep note xem module is in there. So now we have to do some, got to do some work on this. So I can do ls xem keep note and it will show the insides of where everything is being loaded. If I bundled a bunch of packages together, then it's just going to show me the packages that were bundled into one, which is why it's 
good to do this before you merge all your packages into one module. So you can see it's all in the user lib directory. Now, another useful tool we have is the xzm to dir command. That's xzm to dir. And it requires two modules, just like the dir to xzm module uh, command did. So it's going to need the package we of our xzm module, which is keep note. And then it needs the directory it wants us to put it in, which I'm going to use the current directory, which is a dot, or you could do slash tmp slash build. So it creates it. I should be able to do ls. And now I can see my I have a user folder, and I have a var folder. I can navigate into the cd folder. And I can see this lib directory here. So if I do ls lib, you can see this is where my Python 2.7 library files for the modules are being loaded into. And I want that on lib64. So all I have to do is type move lib to lib64. I do that command, and everything's good. Now what I have to do is I'm going to go back a directory so I can see where my keep no XEM module is. And I'm going to remove the old module. Well, I'm going to deactivate it first. Deactivate keep note. It says well done. Now I'm going to remove it because that's the bad one. That's the one that doesn't work. So this directory has all the stuff we need to get a module that works right. Unfortunately, it's not an XEM module yet, but we can easily do that using the dir to XEM command. So we're going to use our current directory again. So I just put a dot and then the file we want to call it. So I'm going to call it, well, how about this right here? Keep note 0.7.8 XEM. So it creates our module. Now I should be able to activate keep note. And now when I type in keep note into the command line, the application opens. So you can see I got keep note here. Here, I'll get rid of Firefox now. We no longer need it. I can open a new, a new book. Let's just call something test. So everything's working okay. I can create new notebooks. We do get some output. That's to be expected. But everything works as it should. So this module's good. And however, the one thing it's missing is the .txz package for the GTK spell dependency it has. So right now, it doesn't have support for that that spell check feature. So I could go back to cd slash temp slash usm. And what we want is we want all these txz packages merged into our keep note package. So I'm going to do move everything that ends in .txz to my temp build directory that I created. I'll navigate there, type ls. You can see we have all our txz packages. We also have our keep note package. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove our directories we no longer need. So usr and var. So now we're just left with the txz packages and the xem module we want to add the txz packages to. So what I'm going to do is dir to xem keep note 
Oh wait. XEM to dir keep note. We're gonna unpack that keep note directory. And I need to give it another argument, so I just put that dot in. Now we should be able to do dir to XEM and we'll call it keep note. We'll put on our current directory dot XEM. So now this command should put everything into one module. So now if I do lsxem keep note, everything looks good. You can see it's got the txz packages, it's got everything going into the usr lib64 directory instead, and everything should work now. So all I have to do is make sure this persists, move that in the CD or sorry, into slash mount SDB1, Porteous modules, hit enter, and now keep note shall persist across the reboot and everything's working fine.